Well, Michael, how are you? Hey, great to see you. Thank you for having us here in uh, Miami with uh, Rolls Royce done. And this is a convertible, but today we're not still in the summer time, but it's already pretty hot in Miami. It sure is. Wow, it's one of the. Uh, it's over 90 degrees right yeah. now, and uh, it's a scorcher. So let's go a little bit for a drive on the on the dawn, and this is your dawn, right? This is my dawn, okay. and uh, it's a pleasure to to have you in it and go go for a joy ride here in the streets of Miami. So I understand this is not your first Rolls Royce, right? Correct. This is uh, this is actually the second uh, Rolls Royce that I have uh, that I've owned, and uh, after the first one being the uh, Rolls Royce uh, Wraith, I had a 2016 rate that I commissioned and uh, really loved that vehicle and as soon as this came out I already had my eyes set on it's just been a wonderful it's a car meant to be driven um, yeah. whereas you know many times people will get these high-end luxury vehicles and boy they'll look great in their garage but they're never look at that exactly Did you place that down <laughs> you know I, I had him uh, drive by just in time <laughs> just in time it, it worked us, perfectly like, yes that must be a what like 70s around yeah there? exactly yeah. We, we've tried that a few times and he's always been a little late or a little early but that's perfect timing <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing uh, looking at a 1970s uh that, that would be a phantom I yeah would say, or, right? or corniche but the but the fact is the uh the vehicles have really transformed themselves in the market and I think a lot of that is behind the, the brand understanding more of what the consumer, especially the younger consumer, yeah. uh, is looking to do. And um, whereas I'd say maybe even you know, five years ago I was very much interested in other other comparable um, makes but not, not Rolls Royce for example, Bentley, yeah. uh, and uh, it was, was a vehicle I had a, a number of those vehicles. Yeah, Bentley got an, a, an advantage, let's say, uh, before the rebirth of the of the of the brand of yes. the Rolls Royce 2003-2004, after the purchase by BMW and all that, the BMW Group. So um, it's I'm very interesting put my to see. Pass up on here yeah. so we don't get, we don't get uh, ticket. <laughs> ticket pulled over, and then it's a short ride. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> So, so yeah, the brand pretty much started again in 2003 with the Phantom, but then like you mentioned, well, then came the Ghost and that, then the Ride. Yes. The Ride, I think, is the car that really brought the, the demographic of the ownership I couldn't like, agree really, more. really yeah. to a new level, right? I couldn't agree more. The way I even first learned about the Wraith, I had gone to, um, I, at the time I had a, a Bentley a GTC Speed, um, yeah. and I went to go get it serviced, and um, uh, and I was uh, going to get a loaner vehicle at the time. And as I was walking by, I saw just an, a brilliantly looking designed car. And I, but I didn't know what it was at the time. And yeah. I realized it was a Wraith. And so I went into the dealership and I said, you know, what what kind of vehicle is that? Thinking it's some sort of exotic that, of course, is. Uh, like a uh, you know, car. yeah, custom made or or you know a seven figure uh, type vehicle, and yeah. you know they said, oh, that's the Rolls Royce Wraith, Michael. That's the car we see you in next. For nothing, but within, I'd say a month of that, um, having seen the vehicle for the first time, I actually was in that and traded in the car that was being serviced, uh, which was you know a car that had less than a thousand miles in it. <laughs> uh, but there, because there's like this uh, image with Rolls Royce. I mean, everybody who talk about anything that is really good at whatever category is like the Rolls Royce off but this is the Rolls Royce yes so uh, tell us I mean what's the experience of owning a car like this and driving it like daily I, I assume you drive uh, this car pretty often right yeah, absolutely it's a it's a vehicle that's meant to be driven uh, not meant to look good in your driveway or in your garage uh, extraordinarily reliable extraordinarily safe um, as we're driving right now we're getting satellite information about the road ahead of us so that you know you hear the the term magic carpet ride it's so exactly. smooth and soft that's because it's you know the the car and the hydraulics are constantly being adjusted to conform to the smoothest uh, available ride uh, on the road ahead of you the the ownership of the vehicle is is really effortless and the cars you know are extraordinarily well built well crafted and personalized if you look at the some of the personalization within this vehicle we have the red fascia the red, yeah. we've got the red stitching we have a number of different you know things that the bespoke audio system which uh maybe after the segment here what we'll do is we'll we'll, we'll turn off the cameras and we'll get down with some uh 
with some uh, hardcore uh, rap so you can hear the thump of the bass but yeah. <laughs> but it, it, oh, it really truly is a car that's meant to be driven it's almost a grand touring vehicle but in the sense of it being a uh, convertible and I think that when you you know when you look at the people who are getting these vehicles uh, I can only speak for myself but you know I, I feel like I didn't have anything more you know certainly to prove to anyone else and I did yeah. this for myself I did this simply because I would you know, I'm comfortable I'd be comfortable in whatever vehicle that I own but but you know it's a reflection of, of me and I think if you're staying within yourself you're comfortable within yourself and you're not doing it for you know uh, reasons to impress others or yeah. inauthentic reasons you're really gonna love the vehicle and love everything that ownership entails which is, that's great. Um, I understand that this car being a convertible can, I mean, actually, let's talk about the, the fact that this uh, top, it's closed and you wouldn't know that it's a convertible because the cabin is so quiet and comfortable and uh, that's like a lot of engineering going through there, I guess. I commute a fair amount. Um, I'm from Miami to West Palm Beach uh, sometimes twice in a day. And, uh, I, you know, during that time behind the windshield, making, making phone calls is very important to me uh, because, you know, it's, my time is somewhat limited. Uh, yeah. So one of the things that was a criteria for me in, in deciding and getting this convertible um, drop head is the cabin. Would it be quiet enough so that the other person doesn't think that, you know, I, I'm in a... Uh, you know, convertible vehicle, and can they hear me clearly enough? And the Bluetooth audio system in here and the noise cancellation features just that the car innately has, such as the thickness of the glass, the um, the uh, the drop head roof that it has, it really does limit any exterior sound. I mean, we just had a huge bus, you I know, know, like a like a tour, uh, you yeah, know, we didn't hear triple anything. decker yeah. pass, and it sounded like just nothing so it's very relaxing yeah that's a so it's an amazing technology because really it's like two cars in one as you were saying yeah. so so like can we try it uh, open now for uh, absolutely a few seconds maybe a few minutes absolutely. with the sun is pretty we'll see how long we can tolerate <laughs> it here you know one of the neat things about the uh about the uh, roof is that you can actually be going around uh just under 30 miles uh, per hour and and it'll open and close so you can do it while driving as well you don't have to be parked or stationary. Yeah, and here in south florida you need that because also the rain can go from, exactly. from one block to the other one the weather can change drastically isn't this so true yes yeah. it's uh but we're you know right now we're in the beautiful streets of uh downtown miami and uh wow what a gorgeous day not a, not a cloud in the sky well, thank you very much. I don't want to take too much time from you, but uh, I really appreciate the opportunity of driving with you and like learning from absolutely an, act an actual absolutely. owner of a Rolls Royce what it is to to be in this car. Truly a pleasure as well. And you know, if you want to switch seats, and uh, we'll turn the cameras off. Oh, maybe uh, that's a good can, idea. <laughs> you can go ahead and have some fun. Great, thank you. Of course.